Reversed. Greetings, I'm Shad. And greetings, I am Tyrant. And Tyrant, we are looking at the Elden Ring Colossal Swords. Yes, uh, I like the Colossal Swords. I like Elden Ring, of course. And uh, I'm interested to see our opinions on these swords. Yeah, we will be rating them between 1 and 10 as to how good we think they are in terms of design. The thing is, though... When we do like broad fantasy sword analysis rating stuff, we're usually always looking at practicality, except when it's in a self-contained kind of universe. Yes. I am thinking for Elden Ring, we might want to give uh, some kind of in-universe charity to uh, what uh, the ability to even use them. Because the thing is, we, in real practicality, all the Elden Ring colossal swords, except maybe one or yeah. two, yeah. would be a zero out of ten because, or one out of ten. You could barely lift it. You wouldn't be able to lift them. Yeah, uh, we've done this with Skyrim because they all mm. have the same sort of thing. We're not comparing it to other swords. Mm -hmm. We're comparing them all in the same cont uh, contained universe, so they all have that charity. The same thing I think is fair with this. The colossal swords. We're going to give them all the charity that you can lift and use them mm -hmm. and wield them competently. So we're just going to be rating the design. Rating the design. See how practical they are for someone with near superhuman strength. That's fair. All okay. Right. Do you want to get started? Where do you want to start? Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to try and remember some of the order of where you find them um, and go through. Good luck. <laughs> I remember some. Like, you know, the first one. The first one you find is the Zweihander. Yes. And I have a massive pet peeve with the Zweihander. Okay, I'm happy you said that. I thought you were going to go something, some other way with that what? sentence. What? <laughs> a massive what? Nothing, nothing. Should just say it, Tyler. No, 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 I'm good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. This should not be a colossal sword. Sure. For, no, for how heavy they like. So the animations that, that they've designed, mm. okay, for Elden Ring, and I've mentioned this in my dedicated kind of Elden Ring, looking at the animations, moveset, and stuff like that. That was a good video. Thank you. I was pretty, I was really happy with that video. Yeah. I don't give you credit for all videos very often, <laughs> but that one I would genuinely give you credit. That's a good video. I timed him perfectly. <laughs> That uh, took a lot of effort. Um, I know where you're going, and I agree 100% with you. Mm -hmm. These are not, like, Colossal Swords, the category in Elden Ring, sets them up to be massive. Yeah, like, the animation is, you can barely lift it, and like, clonk, clonk, yeah. clonk. This where... is very nimble, very easy to use, uh, relatively speaking, obviously. Uh, it should not fit in the uh, Colossal Sword category, but it is in there, and for that, I give it a 10 out of 10. This is easily a 10 out of 10 design. It's, it's lifted basically right from history. Yeah, this looks fan It actually yeah. looks fantastic as well. What a, like, I, I, would I would love to have like this in real life, just one for one design. Yeah. Like I, I, I'm, I'm surprised that they even give it the, uh, the what do we call rises it? or spaces? No, no, not the the cord wrap. You know, yeah. which you know everybody oh, uses. Do, well. Like they? it's the attention to detail on this one is good. I like yeah. it. Yeah, easy ten out of ten. Oh, we're off to a good start. <laughs> so the next colossal sword that I remember coming across in the game is actually just called the Great Sword. Mm. Okay, now this one. Well, its size actually warrants the animation. Like, like, this is such a chunky boy. And this it, one's obviously uh, based off Berserk's Dragon Slayer sword. Like, yeah. it, it's a dragon It's a Slayer. homage, mm. which is awesome. I think it's great. Like, it, this, this is interesting, right? Because I feel like we're going to get a bit of back and forth here. What do you think about no cross cards? Hmm. This is tricky. Because the blades are so wide that they take up the room of a cross guard traditionally, mm -hmm. but I still think even having some quillons on the side would add extra functionality, even if a little bit. But what we've found through our testing, if we could put it that way, is because they're so long, they sort of just start to become like a spear and you have a lot of reach. You do. So you don't technically need one. I do think that if you have one, it doesn't hurt. I think, yeah, I, I think there are a few occasions when a blade would come down and mm. come to the hilt. And people are probably not aware, we have tested Giant mm. Sword multiple times on the channel. You can check out the videos. We made foam props, we made wooden kind of ones that are solid to test out movesets, or even have a larger project. Just, you know, moving along slowly. I would consider our carbon fiber sword that we've done recently to be more of a giant sword. That thing yeah, was massive, that, relatively yep. speaking. It was pretty big. Yep, yep. And uh, one of the interesting things that we found in testing is that you are got so much reach and you fight at such a large measure that usually the blades don't get close enough to need the cross guard. Yeah. But there is the rare occasion. Yes. But usually I am... I am, if you have watched the, any of the previous episodes, I am very staunch in favour of cross guards no matter what. Mm -hmm. This is the one situation where I'm like, 
I can go either way. I don't mind too much. All right, the handle looks round. Yes, but is this another Skyrim situation? No, they... not for this one. I think um, the graphics are high enough that we I can I agree give that it... the graphics are high enough, but do the other swords have the same issue? Because that looks kind of round. No, no, this one looks flat. Like, it's round there, but it's flatter there. That looks like... Uh... So looking at, we're looking at the uh, Zweihander. The handle. Up near the hilt, it looks oval. And just like a historical sword, it rounds off towards the pummel. Okay, fair. And also mm. that is a metal handle. We can this see is that. a metal handle as well. So mm. I'm thinking 7 out of 10. I think actually I, I, I might I'm, knock I'm it down more because that hilt is excessively chunky. You'd, like, well, well, not only that... <sighs> Having somewhat of a reasonable counterbalance to such a massive sword, even if you could wield it effectively, mm -hmm. is still a good idea. This is so blade, uh, like, top-heavy. Mm -hmm. Even for a giant sword, it would be a bit ridiculous. I think I'm more on the six territory. Metal handle, you know, this is an excessively large guard or joint, whatever you call it, and that pommel is very comically small. I have another criticism, but you can't see it on this image. But yeah, the edge angle is so chonky that I think, for me, that knocks it down another point. So maybe 5 out of 10. Hmm, I'm okay with a 6, and the reason why is because if you have the strength to wield something like that, you're not going to be doing much cutting damage, you're going to be doing it's straight up. It's meant to be up. a sword, not a club. And I think that is a genuine flaw in the design. It doesn't need to like, be so... Is it though? Because like, think about this within the context. If you have enough strength to swing that around, if you hit someone with that, it has a sharpened edge. Even if the bevel is like that, it's going to smash you in half. It will cut and smash. This is true. The, the size affects the design. Mm. I, I would say too thin would be actually bad for a, such a big sword because so much weight and force, mm. you would actually break the edge easier. I reckon you would want like a chisel, but this is, this is almost like 90 degrees. I, I think it's a 5 out of 10. Okay, all right, we can go for a five. All right, next we have the Troll's Golden Sword. Ooh, this is interesting. Hmm. I really like kind of the flared profile. It has a cross guard, but it flares all the way out to kind of... Like, if that flare was just not done and you had little kind of quillens on the side, I think that would improve it a lot. Handle looks very round. Mm. The blade angle looks much more narrow on this one, more more reasonably in the sword category, but not so wide that, you know, um, not so thin, sorry, that it would be fragile. I think the handle's a little stubby. I also think it's You round. probably want a longer handle. handle. Yeah. Uh, I do think it gets a bit too thick right at that the cross, mm. like it flares out to a yeah. huge degree. I do like the blade profile on this. I do think that that uh, both taper and like distal taper as well is is actually nice. I would give it a seven out of ten. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm on that as well. Seven out of ten. Here is an interesting one: the Watchdog's Gold. Sorry, it's just the Watchdog's Great Sword. Ooh, I'm not. I don't think I like this one. Looks. Oh, the handle is tricky. Do you reckon that's round or oval? I think it actually is a little oval. I think that's contoured. Yeah. I think it has a channel uh, carved in it. Oh, that's you're not right. A that's a. That's, that's a, a. It has a. What? Mm. That makes a much weaker handle. Um, I don't like how the um, the hilt kind of has these weird loops that kind of come down. Mm. Uh, Something I'm noticing about a lot of these swords is they all seem to have metal handles. Mm -hmm. And they all, whatever the blade material is, they're just going down to the handle as well. This kind of looks like it's copper as well. Oh, you're right. The blade is in disrepair as well. Like the, the other one was rusted, but it looked like it was still functional, where this one actually just looks like it's got gouges on the edge and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like five or four. I think the gut sword is better than this. Yeah, so four out of ten? Yeah. This one might be one of my favourites. Like, I use this in the game. This is the Troll Knight's, um, they call it the Troll Knight Sword, yep. Hmm. And I, 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 I love just that kind of blue crystal in the blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, this is kind of what I think the cross guard should be doing with a cloth sword. Even if it's coming out a little, it's doing that. Hmm. They flare up a bit to help trap the blade. The handle looks very round. That is a round handle. That annoys me. It has this weird rectangle thing at the bottom of the hilt before the the handle yeah, which i think yeah. is completely unnecessary and that's annoying mm. that lets it down if it wasn't for the handle and that annoying protrusion this could have been a 10 out of 10. 
Well, I also think that pommel is too small, remember? Like, I know we're talking about great, mm -hmm. like, giant colossal swords here, so having a counterbalance, mm -hmm. actually counterbalanced sword would be unreasonable, but all of these are so comically <laughs> tiny, there's no point in having them. Uh, I do like this design a little bit more than I thought I would. However, having a stone that big in the center of the blade is a giant ass weak point. Unless it's only on the surface and goes in a little bit. It doesn't go right through the guts. Do we you, don't know. Do you think that's what's happening? I don't know. <laughs> All right, because there's no way for us to know that, I'm I'm in around a six, seven territory. Really? I'm like, I was like eight. So let's go seven then. Well, keep in mind, this is something that's really important. A round handle on a giant sword like this would be the worst possible scenario. Having a regular sword with a round handle is kind of a problem because you're indexing with a giant sword the moment you hit something hard and it's it starts gonna to roll whoop. out and uh, and a round handle would help you hold that yeah. grip and angle your all right so seven out of ten what did i say you said six and i was on eight so that's the compromise all right whatever <laughs> so a round handle on these ones is actually worse than it's, it would swords. be yeah quite annoying and detrimental Oh, oh! I do not like that blade. I do not like that blade at all. I thought it looked better from a, a small image close up. That would not be structural. That would bend and break. I hate that you're right, because I do like this one. I like mm. the look of it. Yeah, that twist. Because if it was just a twisted blade, I wouldn't have that mm. big of a problem. But because it's two separate pieces of steel twisted and mm. then joined right yeah. at the tip. So when you say if it was just a wavy blade, you meant that, yeah. yeah. Um, but because it's twisted like this, this is big problems. We also have whatever this is, this piece of metal twisting I around the don't handle. don't like it. Well, that's going to that's gonna annoy you. It get annoy you yeah. in the grip. And also, it's, it's kind of round. blocking the ricasso. If you wanted to grab the ricasso, you've got these weird kind of... You could, you could grab it from one side, mm. but not on the other, limiting versatility. Oh, wow, this is like a 2 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because from a distance, this one looks not yeah. bad. Yeah. All right, all right. This one is uh, one that comes up a decent amount. It is the Royal Greatsword. All right. Okay. Oh, oh gosh. It's a little tree. I, I, it has a, a very distinct bevel, but then it goes flat, which mm. I'm okay with. Okay. I'm not really a fan of the hilt. I think the hilt is way too big and i'm not a fan of the pummel i think the pummel is facing the wrong direction mm -hmm. if you flipped it and so those kind of um nodes were pointing in the opposite direction i'd be better has a weird rectangle thing under the hilt which is I'm like uh, something that's interesting about when it comes to a giant sword right proportionality is really important and for example because you're dealing with such a large, thick blade, mm -hmm. having a very thin handle like that would actually be to its detriment. It would be quite terrible. I think that needs to be a bit thicker. Bit thicker? Yeah. At least the pummel is bigger. It's just facing the bigger, wrong, yes. wrong direction. Uh, but is it bigger or is that handle just very thin? <laughs> I think, no, the pummel is actually bigger. Uh, yeah. It also uh, has a metal ring for some reason, well, right, that would go... A riser right where, where your hand, hand would, would go. Uh, I also think this uh, center riser is a bit chonky in a not yeah. a good way. Four or three out of ten, what do you think? I'd go for a three because the other one was so bad. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, this one's interesting. I remember fighting this in the game and I was just like... Ah! Ah! Uh, this is called the uh, Grafted Blade Greatsword. <laughs> I don't hate it. I thought... Like, uh, Alright, this is, there's issues here. We have a round handle. It looks like it's metal. But we have a reasonable size I, pommel. I, I, we have a reasonable <laughs> size cross guard. And these blades would mess you up. That would mangle people. And if you could wield that like a proper <laughs> sword, you would do some damage. Unironically, best pummel on the great sword, colossal sword so far. Yep. It, it flares out in the right way so you can slide your hand down a bit more. It's properly sized to have some kind of mm -hmm. effect of a counterbalance. Uh, but everything else... Uh, look, it's got a blade pointing towards your hand on the grip. Yeah, I didn't see that one. But... <laughs> See, this is the thing, though. But I... the blade, or the blades, that would actually be damaging exactly. quite a lot. 
if if you could wield this, I think this would be a super effective weapon. Because that cross guard, it's a bit chunky. I think it's a little bit too chunky. But it flares out, right? All of this would probably catch blades. I, I, and the pommel is reasonable. I think the handle could be a bit longer. And it shouldn't be mm. round. But... Most I could give it as a 6 out of 10. No, that's fair. That's fair. uh, This is the Ruin's Great Sword. Uh, You could barely call it a sword, but it clearly has an edge on one side. Uh, Like, if this was actually made out of stone, it would break. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of these other swords would probably... I don't know, we've seen giant swords have a handle that, you know, connects them. Mm. Like, like, um... uh, is it Michael Cthulhu, the the guy yeah. who makes the giant swords? Uh, clearly, they can be connected and hold, hold together, yes. right? But stone, the vibration that hits these things, has a much higher chance of breaking. Sure. Mm. And the edge on there, like, does, it has a bevel, not an edge. That's the difference there. This isn't like obsidian, which I would consider yeah. to have an actual edge. This just has a bevel. And it looks like a really thick one, too. Yeah. This is... I don't consider this to be a sword, honestly. Yeah, like, so what, one out of ten? Yeah. Like, even if you had the strength to wield these other swords, this one would be orders of magnitude heavier than yeah, even those. Yeah, it's, it looks awful as well. Okay, so now we have the ancient meteoric ore great sword. Oh. Wow, this very this gives me soul caliber vibes massively, like soul edge. If it's obsidian, it'll have a sharp edge, but it would have the problem with breaking the same. That's just steel. Do you reckon it's steel? Yeah, that just looks like a metal that's been like all... Like a darkened metal? Yeah, it's all messed up. Okay, so interesting... But they call it meteoric ore? Which is... Which is metal. Okay, okay. Um, which way does this one get used? I think you could cut on either, but the well, primary edge I, seems the one that's flaring out more. If the if this is the primary edge, mm-hmm. it's terrible. But because if it's look at the, this spike coming here, yeah, that you exactly. could barely hold it. But if I'm swinging it that way, that spike becomes a guard. Hmm. So I'm a little bit more charitable. So I actually think it's you're supposed to hold in the opposite direction because of the angle of the pummel. The pummel is kicking I, I out agree. forward, I which agree. indicates the uh, side. Like, should we? Give it, you know, negative points because of that. But the thing is, though, you could functionally use it flipping it You could flip it, it around, yeah. yeah. Let's, ba- let's base it on being charitable, and if you pick that up mm. and you're not an idiot and you're, mm. sw- you're swinging around the right way, I don't think it's... Like, this isn't a good sword, but as a weapon, if it was quite large, you have this big jutted out piece that could act as a guard somewhat, and this would also mess you up. Three out of ten. Yeah. Redan sword. Okay, the Star Scourge Great Sword. And so, round handle, not good. It's metal. It is metal as well. Um, the the hilt is actually thinner than some, but then it kind of flares off on one direction, which is more stylistic. This one's also sh- a lot shorter than some of the other variants here. This is actually, it's like. Like, this kind what of What do you size. think of the curve? Because you could use this either way. You could use it as like a inverse curve mm-hmm. or a uh, strong curve. Would that really give it any benefits? The inverse curve I'm interested in though because that kind of changes the angle of attack and gives greater penetrative power. I would give m- more points for that simply because it is so... You can use it either or and mm. I think it would function... Like it would wield perfectly mm. fine. Like, if I flip around a katana and try to use it the opposite way, yeah. that's not going to be the best. This, I feel like, because of that asymm- uh, asymmetry, mm-hmm. you could effectively use it in both ways. I'm on, like, a seven, maybe. I was thinking six. Maybe seven. It is actually somewhat functional. It's uh, just yeah. that round uh, handle. That's uh, it. Seven. This one is a harder one to get. This is the God Slayer's Great Sword. Oh, I hate it. I love it. It doesn't even have an edge. This is beautiful. <clears throat> That's not even a sword. Uh, this is a sword. It's not. That, those are rounded curves. On the, That's not a sword. <laughs> I'm sure it would cut. No, <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> this is a zero out of ten. It's not a sword. It's made for thrusting. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, if it actually had a blade on it, the hilt, I like. It's got a cross guard. Uh, 
the handle's round. Oh, actually, no, it looks so. like it's oval, oval up yeah. at the top. Uh, uh, the pommel's a little too small, mm. but that's actually a decently functional hilt or, uh, right there. Mm. Then the blade just goes completely, you know, to say, it's like it's just had a stroke. What's, going on? What's happening with this thing? I like it. One out of ten. As a sword, perhaps. <laughs> yes, it's easy. And that's being charitable. I still like it. <laughs> All right, and now we come to the last colossal sword that we have on the list. Uh, I don't think we've missed any, but if we have, you know, I'm sure everyone will Blame the know. wiki. <laughs> yeah, blame the wiki. This is... Malekith's Black Blade. Malekith's Black Blade. That looks like it's stone. That looks like a stone obsidian like style blade. Mm. Hate. Oh wow, the hilt is yeah, it does awful. Has an awful handle, terrible pummel. This is garbage. Yeah. But it's still more functional than the last one we looked at. Is it though? Obsidian. <laughs> that just break the I mean you can at least cut people with it. Yeah, once. <laughs> so you cut them so once. two out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Two out of ten for Malekith's Black Blood. And that's the whole list. So, thing is, after them all, okay, uh, what is your favourite? In terms of design or functionality? Uh, like, both. I, I, no, I'm just saying, favourite, if you had to pick one. And I could wield it? If you were in the Elden Ring world. Okay. Okay, but... I want you to like, consider, yeah, design as well. I would probably go with the, uh, the Star Scorch, Redans. Because you get two of them as well. <laughs> no, no, you're not counting two. All right. And, and I should say, like, the Zweihander doesn't belong on this list. It does not. It's uh, like, uh, yeah, I'll pick it because it's the best design, but it's just I, out I of place. I wouldn't, though, because it would be smaller than these. I guess put... Okay, so you're trying to also say in universe what would be most effective in combat, and yeah. because it just does not have the weight and mass and power of the other ones, it really can't compare. It can't. Okay, so then what would be your? <sighs> Probably uh, the troll knight sword or the great sword. One of those. I would actually pick the troll knight sword. I think because the grafted blade. Even though, if I was able to wield it, I just don't think it would be mm -hmm. a good sword at the end of the day. But the other two, I think, ha I think they're pretty big as well in the game. They're like they have a lot of reach. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably go with one of those. Yeah, like and it's I, simple. The know? Troll Knight sword has a really good taper on it, which means you get some good thrusting capacity yeah. on it over the other swords. It actually has a bit of a the 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 cross guard does flare out a little bit beyond mm. the line of the sword, because otherwise the troll's golden sword might have been on the list for me. Yeah. Uh, but because the troll knight sword has that um, cross guard, and, uh, you know... But it would also be how I would want to use it, because going back to what you said with the animations, I hate the colossal sword animations. They're just... Yeah. Bang, bang, like that. If they did more of the... Uh, what is it? Um... What's the one below it? Uh, They're just great sword. Great sword. If they had the great sword animations, because that's how to use them, mm -hmm. the great sword or the troll knight sword would be far better for that sword to use mm -hmm. as a sword. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so going over the ratings, the winner was the Zweihander. It's a bit of a wild card in this analysis. And the next one we do run into uh, uh, several sevens. The troll's golden sword was a seven. Troll knight sword was a seven. And the Star Scourge Greatsword was a 7. And then going down from that, we hit a 6 with the Grafted Blade. Being That surprised me. I was not expecting that one to do so well compared to all the others. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's the only 6 we have. And then we have the Greatsword on a 5, which I think is respectable. I think, you know, that, that uh, earns that one. Inches up, that's still one of the higher swords because a lot of these swords are really badly designed because then when we get to four we've got the watchdog's great sword and then we have uh, two threes i think the ancient meteoric or great sword on a three and the royal great sword on a three then we've got two twos malekith's black blade and f the fire knight's great sword and then even a couple of ones the ruins great 
excuse me, the Ruins Great Sword and the God Slayer's Great Sword. Yeah. There we go. I think that's a fair rating. I think that is pretty fair. Uh, and because because we're taking into consideration that if we were in universe we could lift them, mm. this is the numbers that I would go yeah. with. But if they were real, we had them in the real world, zeros you except for the Zwei hand. Yeah, yeah, they'll all be unusable. Yeah. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. If you guys are interested, there's a lot of Elden Ring weapons that we can keep looking at. Yeah. Uh, we love doing these videos, and it seems like you guys really like them. Let us know in the comments if you think we got something wrong or what you would rate certain swords. What's your favorite? Well, not not in terms of just like in game highest damage sword okay now what's your favorite in terms of the design right and the same principles really look forward to seeing it sorry before we go out there is a couple of swords here that mm. aren't in the colossal uh range but the bosses who use them are giant uh, but they're not counted as yeah so maybe we should do like boss weapons or something that's like that. a good idea anyway, like there are some really cool great swords as well yeah. and you know what really interesting like in the in the expansion mm. they have like a uh fast great sword mm. with an animation move which is identical to the one that i suggested in my previous elden ring video before then yeah. and if you want to check out me reacting to it and showing what that move is you can check out that video right here where look i don't think they you know yes you do anyway no no no, 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 no I, if you like, want to watch but it would be cool if they did <laughs> it's right there, right there. cheers Bye.